Pretty and Paisley XO is everyday makeup routine. I am not actually going to be showing you me doing my makeup. I'm just going to be telling you how I do my makeup and like showing you the products and everything. This is all due to self-consciousness so I hope you don't mind and I'm sure you've experienced the same feeling as I have. So. So I like to use a radiance booster which isn't going to make my skin look extremely oily, it's just going to make it look glowy. So it is the Boots Time Delay Skin Treatments Radiance Booster and this basically brightens and it like instantly boosts skin radiance which is really good and I really like this because it just gives it a nice natural glow which is really good base to start your makeup on. I'm not one for using foundation so I'll just go straight to concealer and plus my concealer that I use is so thick it's like the consistency of a foundation anyways and that is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC30 and it's got a pump and it's super thick like I said like a foundation and that means that it's got very intense coverage. It will cover blemishes in no time as well as under eye circles. And I just use this dupe for the Yangold Stippling Brush by Real Techniques. And it's really dense and soft so it blends really, really well. I then like to highlight and bronze my face. So I love to use the Bourjois Paris Bronzing Powder and Highlighter Duo. And this is what it looks like. It looks like chocolate so it's super cute. and it's I used them both and the bronzer was matte but the highlight is kind of mixed in with it so you'll have to ignore that but anyways I love this it's really good it's absolutely amazing and I just use this to like define my cheekbones, jawline, temples, forehead and I highlight like my cheekbones and my nose and like yeah so I just put it where the, like, the sun would naturally hit my face the highlighter so I really like this and I highly recommend it and, and for that I like to use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and it's again very dense, still super duper soft and it's all like the brushes are really together and it's kind of like flat but like wide so it gets in there really really well and it, I then like to powder so I do um put my highlighter on after I powdered that I'll bronze and then I'll put the powder on and then I'll go to highlighter and blush which I'll show you in a second even though I've already shown you the highlighter but this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent and this is a long lasting pressed powder and it, it definitely is and it mattifies your skin so that your complexion isn't so oily if you are like me but it does kind of wear off in a while not gonna lie, really like this powder and this just sets my makeup in place and for that I will use the, oh it's all scratched off, like that is so bad, like I'm not even joking, it really annoys me when this packaging off the, like the writing off the Real Techniques brushes comes off but it is the powder brush and it, it's not so dense, it's really like and it's super duper soft like, this is like my favorite after I have powdered I will move on to highlighter and like I said I've already shown you that so we don't need to go into detail about it again I then like to use a blush and this is the makeup revolution ultra blush palette in sugar and spice and I'm sure you've seen this all of the world of beauty guru YouTube I don't know and it just looks like this it is stunning you've got eight beautiful shades to pick from and it Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. So there are some like brownie turned, nude like pink turned things. You've got some like corally turns, some marbleized, like different affected ones. And the one that I have on, and it, by the way, these are really pigmented, so you've got to be careful how you use them, is the one at the bottom, but I don't want to like blind you. It's like the um, marbleized one at the bottom, and it is so so pretty and then it's got like a highlighting shade above it and I love them all but that's the one I've been using recently and the brush I will use for that is the Real Techniques blush brush. I then like to move on to eyebrows and I'm just going to show you the two brushes that I use so they are both by Eco Tools and these are like recycled brushes and you get them in a set and it's made of like baboon or something angled eyeshadow or eyeliner brush and I will use this just to I use this side which is more fluffy side but it's kind of painful but it's not when you like brush your eyebrows I'll just use this to brush them out and then I will fill my eyebrows in like so 
I'm not fancy, I don't do the clear bit there, I just fill, go ahead and fill them in just the way that my hairs go and it, that is what that looks like, it's just an angled tiny brush and I actually do use a wax and a powder, I use the wax first and then the powder to stay in place because I don't actually like the brush that comes with this but the spoolie that comes with it is tiny, it's good but it's really small and hard to hold. Um, but this is the Rimmel Brow This Way and if you haven't heard about this, I don't know who you are. And I've got it in the shade Medium Brown. It is absolutely amazing. So like I said, it comes with a wax and then the powder to set it in. For my eyeshadow, I like to use the Maybelline Colour 24 Hour Tattoo. And this is in the shade 65 Pink Gold and it's just a really pretty rose gold shade. So it's just a gold turned pink and it's really good because it lasts 24 hours all day so it will keep your eye makeup on super long and like it's like a pinky toned colour I love to go for eye like eye colours which are like gold and pink so I like to use my Naked 3 by Urban Decay and I like to use the shade Buzz which is just a dark like it's just like the exact same colour as this but just a bit darker on my outer corners and crease and then I like to use the shade Dust which is a much lighter version of this with a mix of Burnout which is just an in-between of Buzz and Dust and I like to mix um, Dust and Burnout together and put it all over my lid and then I'll use the lighter shade in the palette which is just a nice like off-white shade called Strange and I will use that on my inner corners to brighten up my eyes and I do use the brush that comes with the palette as it is a really good quality brush it's got a super fluffy side and then a really dense like pointy the side. mascara that I use is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara and I've got it in the shade Waterproof that's why it's got like blue on the packaging which I think looks a lot more prettier but I have to get waterproof mascara which is kind of a pain for removing but oh my goodness my eyes water so badly throughout the day it's unreal and this is meant to be a dupe of the roller lash but I've never tried it before and I've got this in probably just like black or black is black because I don't do browns or anything and this is what it looks like it's kind of domed and it's really good because it like volumizes your lashes and makes them look really thick and pretty so the last step of my makeup is obviously lips I use is the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine I'm not too sure I think it's like French or something so I have no idea what it's called and I've got it in shade number 8 and can I just say how beautiful this packaging is and the colour itself is really pretty it's like a really subtle red turned pink and it's got little glitter grinds in it so it's definitely shimmery and it's super neutral like you could probably get away with this at school if yours are not as strict at school but I really like this okay so that is the end of my everyday makeup routine I'm sorry that I couldn't show myself filming my makeup I'm just super uncomfortable with myself complexion at the minute so I'm really sorry about that but anyways if you enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up and it, I will see you in next week's video on Sundays because I'm your Sunday spot and yeah bye